just tell us where you originally from. Who you talking to me? Yeah. I'm from Dade County, man. Florida, bro. And um, I guess what brought you up to uh, Georgia? Oh, that, that's the first question right there. I ain't, uh, I ain't putting all that out there right now. Okay. One of them interviews. Okay. Um, what well, hold on. I'm like, I'm okay. This this is finna get weird. He, well, that get weird, show. I'm just saying, most of my, my my questions are personal questions, so it ain't gonna be no point in doing the interview if you don't want to answer. But you want questions. me to be me, or you want me to be somebody else? Be you. Be you. But I'm just saying, if that's what kind of interview you want to do. Bro, what are you talking about, bro? You mm -hmm. ask me. You ask me a question. I gave you an answer, dog. You asked me what brought me up here. I told you I ain't finna put that out there like that right now. I'm gonna stop. Hey, bro, we ain't. I ain't finna do this today, bro. I ain't finna do this. Damn. Wow. Damn. Wow. 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 Come on, brother. Quit me. Keep stuff. that one, baby. I got another one. Okay. Okay. I, I got it. I got it. Um, Damn, he just bird, man. This, man. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I'm I remember you. I said funny. you the one that ain't happy. Remember? I said you happy. Everything all right. Facts. Yeah, I'm Facts. good. I'm, I'm just saying. I be trying to. I don't want to get into it with him. So. I got this. I don't want to get into it with him. So I'm like, all, all right. my questions is personal. If, he, okay. if you want to be like that, then there's no point of doing the interview. I respect that you don't, you know. I understand. But it'll be a boring interview because I'll be like, so da 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 da. Then they be like, no, uh, I ain't answering that. That's who gonna do an interview like that? There's no point in doing that. Right. He gotta be able to answer. Boss lady like got snatched. <laughs> Boss lady said, shout her out. She done got snatched. Say so she didn't want to got the BBL. Say so she didn't want to got the BBL. Like, well, like, you know who lady is? Ball lady went viral on that video. She cute too. She you seen old. her with the BBL? She said she don't want to get it. I seen her paper saying she was about to go get it. She said she don't want to get the BBL. Yeah, she got that 360 more phone. She said that shit. I want to see what's going on. I want to see what's going on. So I want to see what's going on. I mean, she already said Wait, me and Dee Dee. Me and Dee Dee. Like, so. <laughs> Um, okay, no man, just uh try to move off here. We're just gonna be on you now, so uh all right, y'all I'm in a bit, man. Okay, he in literally it's no pressure. <laughs> he got the camera clear, so chip, we gonna chip, 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 chip. we gonna start it chip, chip. off. Uh you, you good? Chit chit chit. Yeah, this shit is weird. It's new for me. It's, new. it's me it's it's new for us, y'all. Hey what what mic is this one? Uh, that's number four. Yeah, we number four to turn four down. down. Damn, yeah. turn that shit chick, chick, chick. I don't hear myself now. Nah, no, uh, that's not boss lady. Boss lady, she like light skin and N G E the movement. Yeah, she said she. It's a uh, it's new being um something. Shit, nah, it's N G E it's N G E the movement now. That's um, not what it is. Yeah, man. Okay. Okay. See, I ain't really, <laughs> really prepare my questions for you, so. We just gonna try to go viral on his ass. <laughs> he was talking about that shit. He been avoiding the show. Go viral on his ass. Yeah. Fuck. That's how we cut it. Fuck. Yeah, that motherfucker on scene. Okay, so no lane. So where are you originally from? I was born in Florida. From yeah. where? Yeah, Brown County. Glee! Okay. So that's where uh, Kodak from, right? I, I guess. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I was. You talking about somebody? You know that one. I, mean, I don't know what he is. So, so what, what, okay, so how was it in uh, Broward County? <laughs> that shit is dirty. That shit was just like Atlanta. That shit is it's tight in some places. It's, it's sweet in some others. You know? So I, they always say, like, the thickest bitches come from Florida. So would you agree with that or uh, you would say it's around? I think that Atlanta. Atlanta got the thick hole. Florida got the bad one. I can't. Just, they just look a little bit better. I don't disagree, but yeah. I feel like I feel like I feel like Cali got the bitches that's like prissy and know how to dress for real. I feel like New York got them tough hoes. I feel like Florida got them fun outgoing girls, the ones that like they adventure and do shit. I feel like Atlanta is the hoe that want to be Hollywood. But they, you know, they, just they, say, Cali got, they gotta have Hollywood. <laughs> but, but they ain't, they don't act Hollywood. They, they say, say Chrissy. They say like everybody in California and, and where Los Angeles is like fine. 
But I always heard the girls in Florida is like they real strong in the face. They got real nice bodies, but they be like ugly in the face. They get on a fucking four wheel and ride with it you. Depend. That's some fire yeah, ass shit. Yeah. I don't know. It depends on where you at. I was in Tampa. It was, I ain't gonna lie. It was crazy. Like, it was some whole thing. I ain't gonna lie. Out of everywhere I done been, out of everywhere I done lived, see, I done lived in a few places. It's a whole thing. That beach. And that was straight though. It's just too many rocks. Yeah. Sissies. Question marks. He <laughs> got me on point. He <laughs> <Sissies. Sissies. Sissies. laughs> yeah, got me on point. Sissies. Sissies. Other than that, like, you straight. Matter of fact, so has a, a transgender ever tried to holler at you? I ain't, I don't be going for that type of shit. I grew up here, though. I'm moving out now. So, see, I like that shit. Keep it out. Talk to me like a little bit. Check, 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 check. Check, check. Y'all get me? Nah, I can't. I can get myself on. Yeah. yeah, just trying to talk loud yeah, like yeah. you uh, on stage or yeah. something. Yeah, so it'll, it'll come up good on the camera. So uh, did you grow up with both of your parents? Nah, uh, well, I mean, kind of. I grew up like, damn, I don't know what the fuck this. All right. So my daddy was hustling, my mama was my daddy, so I grew up with my auntie. You know what I'm saying? My dad ended up getting deported back to Jamaica. So, I know you all from the island. Yeah, that's how I ended up. Like coming to Atlanta and shit like that. Like, I had to move back with my mama, my mom, and my grandma came to the A. So do so do you still talk to them or? Yeah, hey, now and then. Uh, yeah. I mean, you know, it's cool though. Got them. He gave me birth. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so you got like a bunch of siblings. Oh man, my daddy was going crazy. I probably got. It. Yeah. It's different. <laughs> It's, uh, it's probably what it is. Okay, so um, I guess give me the most traumatic experience um you had growing up. Traumatic? Yeah. Shit. My cousin was fucking with me one time, and like I was a little, I was like fourth grade. I threw my beach ball. I cared about the beach ball. My favorite teacher gave me that beach ball. Like, I cared. I don't know why, but I gave a fuck about that beach ball. She threw my shit, caught the fence. I tried to jump that bit and slip and, like, impale myself. So, like, it was like a, I would say, like, six inch. Like, you know, those fences that got, like, the little, like, they pointy at the end. You know what I'm saying? I fell right on that joint. Stabbed me in my stomach all the way up there. My real I ain't gonna get stitches. That's not crazy. You crying and shit? No, I really want to cry because I ain't know what the hell was going on. I ain't look down to my mama like, was like, what the hell? My mama wasn't even home yet. You know what I'm saying? So I was just tripping out like I know something. You know what I'm saying? I know that shit was up, but I ain't never look at that shit until my mama came home. So it's like, a, it's a nasty scar? Like, you don't want to write a tear or what? Nah, it hit them good? Yeah, that's just straight. Okay, so um, what's a person that meant a lot to you? And they died, and like, how did it affect you? Shit. My brother Chris, man. That's the first one I can think about, really. Like, my brother Chris, I played football with Chris. I really grew up with, bro. You know what I'm saying? I got a song now, it's called Booty. You know what I'm saying? I dropped it on my last tape. It's about, bro. You know what I'm saying? And that shit just really let you know, like, don't take life for granted. Cause like he was one of them niggas that I was mad cool with. So I feel like I ain't have to talk to him like that. You know what I'm saying? Like I know he always try to just check up on the win in two different states, we in school, you know what I'm saying? And bro died on campus, like in his union. Yeah. How, how you doing? Got shot. What, what county? He was in Savannah. He was going to Savannah State. Oh. Yeah. I wonder what this shit was over. Okay, so um, what's the most evil thing a female um, has done to you? Man. <laughs> Some evil shit. Because he got all the hoes. That just was bullshit. I was just repeating bullshit. I really don't be going through shit like that. I really just be went through it with like one girl. So I really don't want to say nothing. Kyrie, she ain't going to know what I'm talking about. Oh, she going to eat your ass up. <laughs> going to be hot like that. But for I ain't gonna say that because I, I already know how she gonna call. She gonna be like, an ego on there. Yeah, she gonna blame ego on the table. I ain't ego. gonna blame me. Boy, I'm saying something. I ain't say that. Right. I ain't even wanna. But yeah, I done had some shit happen to me, though. I'm kinda out of the way. <laughs> like, for real. But I mean, you know. 
Okay, so has it, um, did she ever uh, make you cry? Any girl particularly know about it. I done cried behind a bit before. I feel like every nigga done cried behind a bit before. You can't really, if you say you happy, you lie. Is that how I feel? Shit. I mean, a bitch that made me frustrated enough to cry. Did he ever make you cry? In your whole life? Yeah, you frustrated cry enough. In your whole but life. It's about how you word it. Not a man cry, but like, like you was like heartbroken to uh, cry. Oh, no, it's always been bad. It's like, <laughs> it's like I'm frustrated, <laughs> and then it's like, oh, because I can't kill oh, my fucking ass. I got to just do this instead. Like, Ain't never really been I like been, I done cried with young nigga. I done cried cause I was so mad that I got caught doing some shit. Like, I was mad at myself. What? Yeah, like, I was mad at myself. <laughs> like, you dummy. Like, you dummy. Yeah, hey, you cried. I mean, I don't even cry, but shit, I don't cry. That makes sense. Okay. Um, the difference between crying and, like, you know. What's the difference? Let me know. Like, your girl cry. Like, when she cries, she crying. Like, runny nose. It's tight, like a nigga. You might like draw like a wet tail. You know what I'm saying? You like, damn, this shit crazy. Like, all right, we good. I keep going. So you went like, <laughs> like you got a whooping or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what's one of the craziest beats you have been in, and like, why did, why, how did the uh, beat start? The craziest beats. You gotta be talking out here. You gotta be nah, I'm gonna right? like handle my problem right now, or we ain't got no problem at it. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's just that. It's right now I feel like you will talk it out and take it to the grass, saying, like, I'm gonna try to talk it out with you, but if you still on that you bullshit, I'm gonna talk to you yeah. 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 I'm gonna talk to you until you, if I feel pressure. Yeah. But I won't be really. I mean, I probably had like some beef. I had a beef in college, like by some hoes. Like, nigga, be mad by hoes, but that shit don't be deep to me because I ain't mad. Like, you mad by the hoes, so I'm mad at you now because you pressing me by the hoes. Okay, so what's what's some of the most gangster shit you done witnessed? I don't say niggas, that'd be fun. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a good question. I seen a gunshot or a nigga that chunked Oh, I already know the answer now. That's why I gunshot. I seen a lot of shit, really. For real, for real. Was you scared? Yeah, yeah, you're gonna be scared, like, in your heart. Like, you know, like, that shit crazy. Like, if your first, especially your first time seeing that shit, I was a young nigga. It was in Florida or Georgia? No, I was in Georgia. I was in Atlanta. And what about you, Ego? Most gangster shit you the same. That's some crazy shit, bro. I had to really think about that one. But um, yeah, when I seen a nigga lose a finger shooting on um, start off a uh, shotgun, but he killed the niggas though. So like, all right, it was a group of niggas, right? They came from Riverdale to Gabby Road, where I was staying at at the time, to like uh beef with this nigga that we was cool with that in Jew. But like, Jew shit by itself. You know what I mean? He had nobody with him. All he had was that nine and that, and that sawed off shotgun. The problem was he didn't know how to shoot that motherfucker. But he lost a finger shooting that shit at them niggas. And he still killed one of them niggas. And they came like four, five D. So that's probably the most gangster shit I because not only and this would make you really gangster. Not only this on my kids, I never I ain't gotta lie about nothing. Anybody from my hood. On in, on Gabby Road in Turnberry can vouch for this shit right now. Dead ass serious. That nigga went to jail for two years. The whole hood wrote behind that nigga. Like, let them free. Them boys came to kill. Because they did. They came to kill that man. Not only did he off one of them niggas and injure two of them niggas, he still made it out alive. He did them two years and he got out on the self-defense. But what's crazy is... When I finally seen that nigga when he got out at Brentwood, I was talking to this bitch named Andrew. Like, I don't really want to hang with him because I'm with my bitch. You know what I'm saying? But he was over there like for a couple months and I never seen a nigga again. Never seen a nigga again. But shout out to Judo, man. Like, that's more gang. Like, that nigga really went hard behind not dying. You think he died or you think he just moved somewhere else? He, I ain't gonna lie. He was a crash shot king. He the type of nigga he'll hit a lick in a heartbeat just because he feel like his pockets ain't right. You know what I'm saying? 
So I just hope he ain't take his ass back to jail or no shit like that. I hope he ain't dead or nothing like that. But um, yeah, man, me and that nigga had the same name, man. Elijah, man. You know what I'm saying? But they called him Jew because he was from Mississippi. So that's what they say up there. They say Jew. You know what I'm saying? And that's what everybody in Atlanta called him. But yeah, that that was the most and to the date, really, that's the most gangster nigga I know. Fuck is a nigga talking about. Cause like I said, them boy came four five deep to kill him. Not only did he put one of them niggas in the box, he injured two, did two years in jail, whole hood wrote behind that man and man got out of jail and was free again. Like, nigga came on some Gucci man, Jesus shit, nigga came to kill that man. Like, didn't succeed though. The well, I I wouldn't say like the most gangster shit I seen, but the most gangster nigga I used to fuck with, nigga named Jay Zo, like He'll fight anybody. He used to beat up bitches. <laughs> <laughs> and like he in prison now for murder. Like I talked to him here and there, but if if he thought I was in some beef or something, I'd be like, yeah, this nigga did. He said, hey, bro, he, his eyes bugging his fist, but he's like, you want to go over there? Like he was always with that shit. Like any time or whatever. Like if I go over his house at two o'clock in the morning, knock on his window, he. He with everything on my own. Wake so. up, right the crust out of his eye and be like, come on. What's up, bro? Yeah, for real. <laughs> he with all that shit. But, yeah, um, he, he one of them niggas, though, like, he was, like, really crazy because they was, like, he it was a story. I used to talk to his uh, cousin, and she was, like, one day he hit his mama. So he was, like, uh, he was like he had seen the devil or something. He really throw it off. And uh, I just seen that nigga do some crazy shit, but... He one of them niggas, he like a pit bull, he'll turn on you eventually. Like, he one of them niggas. Yeah. Like, literally, he ain't never, he ain't turn on me. But, okay, so, okay, this was one of the questions I had for uh, Brelo. So, if it's a guy who's like a known pedophile or rapist, but he ain't never been in jail, but it's a rumor going around saying this nigga do this type of shit, and he basically, he got a label, would you sign this nigga? Especially if he was really, if he had the best deal on the table to give you as an artist. But he like, he like a known, like, pedophile and shit. Like, is it like, okay, so this is my question. When you talk about known pedophile, we talk about, like, kids. Like, Chelsea Billups. Like, he, he like, he, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I got, I, it's Billups. like, like, it's an allegation. Or, like, it's a fact this nigga is doing this. Like, let's just say, what's that preacher guy named the, uh, the one that was on uh, beating the kids and shit? Eddie Bishop. What's his name? Um, uh, Eddie Long. Yeah. So, if he got a reputation like him, like, he fucked with niggas, young boys and shit, but he ain't never been to jail. He just got a reputation for that shit. Would you do business with him? And he talking about, he, matter of fact, he got like a deal. I, I'm trying to give you seven million to sign on. I'm going to put you on a tour with little Baby for a whole year. I'm running off on him. I'm signing and running off on him. Don't sign that bitch. That nigga do anything in the pro. Be his ass. What the fuck you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> he ain't going to do nothing to you. He no, just got that reputation no, for doing that. Shit. Part, I don't give a fuck what you do in your personal life. They do what you say. You going to just run off on him. by the contract clause. And you going to move around. I run off on that nigga. <laughs> if you try to fuck with me, I'ma go find it. He ain't gonna fuck with you. He he like boys. He he don't like grown men. No, so he I'm ain't saying gonna try if you try to like get mad that I ran off on him, I'ma go find some extortion type of level shit. They be like, yeah, nigga, you try to do something if you want, nigga, with my money or stop the money, nigga. I'm telling everybody you fuck with these kids. I hit it, man. Fuck at this point, man. I'm playing the game dirty, man. Fuck it, man. I gotta get me me, man. You know, that man, a lot of them niggas are already like that anyway. Do a little weird shit like that and, yeah. and and own some shit like that and try to make it. Man, like, right now, it's a nigga out here selling band cars. And all he doing is changing the name of his business every every three months. He's selling these cars to wives, uh, college students. He don't give a fuck who he's selling them to. And he making that money and he changing that business name. That nigga probably done been responsible for so many wrecks and everything. It's just a theoretical, you know what I'm saying? That nigga probably done been responsible for so many wrecks and all type of shit. You think that nigga not sleeping good at night? Nope. Of course he's sleeping good. He ran off on that ass. That single mom came in there with that money and said, I'm ready to buy that car. He knew that car wasn't shit when he sold it to him. Ran off on that ass. That college student that came in the first car. No, they don't know shit. 
ran off on so it. So it's like it's a car you pay on or you just pay like, like you pay on. Not nah, like you pay on. I'll go ahead. It's niggas doing that though. Like, and they don't you would think that'd be fucked up on your conscience. But when it comes to their money, why they ain't fucked up on so I just try to realize that if I get a nigga like that, could that bro, you know, watch the movies. Whenever they get a hot nigga in power like that with some doing some stupid shit like that. Man, they get the documents, get a nigga to follow him around, private investigator, stack that shit up, and lay that shit on his desk like, yeah, pussy nigga. And then something happened to me in the next 24 hours, this shit gonna be all over the news, nigga. I'm playing with, I'm, I'm trying to do some movie shit, man. On one of these niggas, man. I'm, I'm trying to do some movie shit to Boom, man. Walk in on Boom, walk in AE like this. Yeah, pussy nigga, we see the document. And if anything happened to me in the next 24 hours, Boom, man. Shit gonna be everywhere. Well, he's supposed to already be exposed. Um, they, they had the I don't know his name. He was on live like talking about him saying they fraud and all that kind of shit. Like, man, Euro and Boom Man, oh, both of them. Euro left your folk. Like my big brother Stendo said, you left your folk. You a hoe for some money that you really didn't get. So you a hoe. And Boom Man even more of a hoe, cause yeah, you was stealing for that boy. Top stealing from that boy, you, you really, you cooned him out, you sold him out, you made him sell his soul, and you put him on the back burner for Fujiano and all these other folk. Oh, yeah. I mean, it like shit, but you know, birds don't feather flock together, man. <laughs> what's, what's your thoughts about um, AE? Would you sign to them? All right. I'm gonna answer both of your questions, so just rock with me, cause I got I got weird opinions about these niggas. So, I guess, all right, y'all gotta remember, the music industry is a roll of dice every time. You ain't could put a million dollars behind some whack shit, you gonna lose. You feel me? So, what I'm saying is, I personally think that. His deal was fair at one point in time. You know what I'm saying? For oh, Euro? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think the deal was fair for Euro at one point in time, but once the shit around Euro started getting bigger than Euro, he probably felt like, why? Like, why? Any artist. Because if my shit, like, I love my music, so a nigga can't tell me my shit whack. You feel me? So if, if, just if you're on their cell, you know what I'm saying? And at some point, like, nigga gotta get paid. Like, everybody gotta get paid. Like, boom could be your best friend. Like, at some point, then you go do business. You know what I'm saying? I'm turn on four in because that's, that one's, um, I believe that's one is three. That one is four. You gotta turn up that one because that one. Right here, hold on. Say something, Yo. Yeah, I hear you. Mm -hmm. Say something to that one. Say something to the yellow one. Yo. Yeah, I hear y'all both. Yeah, turn that, turn that one off. I don't know which one Which one is this? I think that's three. I don't know. I'm going to tell you this one, bro. I can find out. Go ahead and say something. Yeah, I'm going to turn that one off. Yo, yo. Yeah, that's three. Yeah. So this one, fuck. Yo, yo. Yeah, that's that one. That one's three. Yo, yeah, I hear you, bro. 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 Well, yeah, so what I was saying was, I think his deal at one point in time was probably fair. You feel me? Because they both was in a growing process. You feel me? But I think that as artists, we have to understand something. Like, and I'm learning this shit, and you know what I'm saying? He probably can't attest. We all learning this shit right now. So, as an artist, you can sign a deal, you can have a contract with a nigga, you can be doing business with a nigga, but you always got to remember at the end of the day, like, that's your career. You feel me? So like, if I sign for seven million, like I don't know your own country, I don't know. You feel me? But if I sign for a hundred thousand dollars, you feel me? No, I'm the only nigga that signed. Like the whole fuck of the city company. Like I'm the only one who signed. Best believe fifty of them hundred thousand dollars is gonna touch on them nigga, cause that's how I'm gonna generate some money. Like, could it still my career too? Like, if I if I double down and bet all with this nigga, like, oh, this nigga gonna save me. Like, no matter who it is, bro, I'm gonna take a loss. But I'm saying, if you get a hundred thousand, taxes gonna take half of that. 
That's cool. So you really just gonna have 50. And that's cool, and I'm still splitting that half. They take that much? I thought it took like 20,000. No, it's like 40 some percent they take. Like I thought it was like when you win the loss, when you like when you win the lottery. I thought it only take it's like so much. It's a luxury take. Damn. That's why when you when you watch them videos, I don't rap would say Texas is gonna take half. That's what they say. But yeah. it's like forty something, like. But they always just say half. I just feel like whatever I get, bro, me gonna eat around me so that I can always be up. Like, and I just think that somewhere along the lines, as an artist, bro, may have lost that. You know what I'm saying? Like that, that the team got to eat for everybody to win kind of vibe. Because if me personally, if I was in his position, like while I was doing my motion with Boom, you feel me? I would still have my other motion going. And I would have never signed no deal that wouldn't allow me to do that. Because I got to, like, I got to be in control of my own course. You know what I'm saying? But you can't do that when you leave your niggas. Exactly. See? Well, I'm, I'm that, saying, that, that what I'm saying. That was saying, though. You feel me? That was still that was saying. Like, you left all your niggas. Before you Big Bro even said, yeah, I, mean, I knew that, though. It's hard. Like Everybody you know knew he used to fuck with Major League. But I'm saying, you can't really get your niggas straight until you straight. And he, if he just signed, and he's not going to be straight. So, but on the, on the way I see, uh, what I say a nigga leaving, like, well, I didn't kind of deal with that when a nigga gets some type of motion, he don't even answer his fucking phone no more. You get what I'm saying? That's how and then he just start hanging with niggas who then he, he didn't even fuck with before. That's, how That's what I call leaving niggas. But you can't just be giving niggas money because you don't really have it like that. And plus, niggas be having kids, niggas be having wives, niggas got mama, so... The last thing I'm looking for is my homeboy to give me some money when he got all these people who really before you. So my thing is you ain't really left your niggas unless you just on some shit. Like you see them niggas call and they just might want to hang with you. They, they ain't going to answer their fucking phone because they feel like nah, boy, I'm bigger than you. Bro, if your niggas he, rap and they not in your entourage, bro, you left your niggas. He, this what happened, right? He, 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 he ordered it to bring his niggas. They said, oh, and he said, okay, we're going to try it that way. All for them to do what they was going to do anyway when she say, nope, we don't want them. We just want you. What you going to do? Lay that shit in front of his face. And that's what it is. Everybody, all of us going to end up having, and we keep going at this shit, we all going to have to make the decision. It's going to be like, do I say yes or no? And it was a situation where he should have said no, but he said yes. And I'm going to tell you why he should have said no. And he would have said no, he could have used the cloud and say, yeah, I was about to be signed, but I turned away a deal for better deals. All that shit Boom Man was doing for him, taking him to New York, he could have did it for himself. But I'm saying, I don't see nothing wrong with somebody taking the deal because once you take the deal, like you get around other motherfuckers who could probably sign all them niggas. You get what I'm saying? He didn't keep it. He did what you say. Uh... Oh, the nigga did it to you. Like he stopped answering the phone for niggas. Yeah, that's that's leaving. Him that's what he yeah. did. He didn't he didn't keep them niggas up there like, all right, look, y'all, I know I ain't, you know, it ain't every day no more, but you know, me and Boom finna go up here and I'm finna ask the label to sign y'all. He went on that. That nigga was Well or he could like not talk to some niggas and whenever something come, he can be like Hey, uh, like, or if I got a deal, I can say ego roundup or whoever ego roundup. Everybody, let's have a meeting. I'm gonna be like, oh, I got what's the name? He gonna capital gonna sign you. He gonna go to you. Some shit like that. Cause sometimes he might need to just stop fucking with you for a minute and come back. So I just be looking at it different. But if a nigga just totally just stop dealing with you, period, then that's just like, ah, oh, damn. Where that nigga. Listen, saying, I ain't gonna do him bad on. I ain't gonna do him bad for real, cause it ain't my place. But that nigga, that nigga legit got songs with Will Sang. Like this, this real shit. Who you are? Yes, this nigga signed the Will Sang wall. Like, thank him, Kevin. Go to Will Sang do his name on. But that's the, re the the relevancy is this. Like it's to the point to where like my niggas even stop performing them songs, bro, because. This is the same nigga that used to come out with We S A. Go come, go to competitions with We S A. This is after you left your niggas. Oh, he was so so he was <laughs> weird, so he went with another clip. He was just he was like with We S A. No, he was on that like I left my niggas to find the new niggas to be around. That's I guess he didn't feel like his niggas was on the same path or something, bro. I just know for a fact 
He left his niggas damn near before he even signed the deal. But this shit, niggas, at that point, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't been dealing with niggas. Niggas been getting management deals, and you call them and they not answering the phone. Like these niggas, yeah, like, they just started acting funny Dang. already, and they just but see, get what I'm saying, like you really, if a nigga felt like, like, okay, I've been in a situation where me and my day ones ain't on the same path, like so shit. If I ain't, quote, unquote, how you just explained it, if I ain't leave my niggas, I wouldn't have met y'all. See, because that's what I had to do. I had sometimes to, it's for the better, sometimes it's for the worse. I had to switch up. I had to switch up what I was doing every day and go do what I needed to do to get where I had to go. If my niggas weren't rocking with me, then that's a problem because we all probably be trying to get to the same place. Question. So it's some kind of disconnect. So them niggas that, quote, unquote, you left, right? If they was to hit you on Facebook now, would the message be more like, I see you, fam, you doing your thing, keep your head up? Or would it be like, fuck nigga, you got all that sauce from us, nigga, goddamn, uh, fuck you. I ain't having nothing to fuck nigga. Come now, I'm, I'm saying like, which one would it rap more be? It's gonna be nicer. It's gonna be, my wife, she doing your thing. Keep then that mean that you got to report the way he walked off, bro. <laughs> that nigga probably would have robbed that nigga, bro. Like, that's the way he walked off on nigga, bro. Yeah. Like, that's, like, okay, like, when they be like, a rapper can't come back to their hood, that be because when they made it, they didn't come back to the block like they knew they was from there. And by the time they came back to the block, they thought it was all good, like, like they just been fucking with the hood. And that's where they get their ass robbed in their own hood. That's where you have them situations come from. Because nigga didn't come back. Not saying you're obligated to, but you could. Cause sometimes coming back and saying, fuck it. I just signed a $3.5 million deal. I'm from Pittsburgh. Let me just go give out a whole bunch of free book bags for back to school. That's coming back to the well, hood. More than likely, a lot of times, too, when niggas get on, it always be a hard nigga just as good as them who they won't even get no like to. You get what I'm saying? So I know it's somebody who just as good as he is, and he not trying to help put him up. Breathe the ice it. Bang. I'm about to do it to him. Brevi Asa was the hardest thing AE ever had. And you want to ask me, and you can ask countless others, I feel like all that man sauce came from Brevi. I don't just be real with you. But he, I mean, as far as like his music, I haven't heard no hits to where you be it's like. It's only one. I drove a pill in the train. I took him in. Get what? Came from Brevi Asa. That don't even sound like the hit. I want to hear that because I ain't never heard that. That's the posse. That's that the posse. Right. But guess who started that? Brevi Man, they know nothing about no posse until you met Brevi man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it was her shit. You go on her Instagram, she been talking about posse. That was her. That's how she used to. Because you know how famous motherfuckers got their names for their supporters? Like, Beyonce got the Beehive. Like, Nicki Minaj got the Barbie. Like, now that I done got my LLC <laughs> and shit. I had to start thinking about this shit. I think I'm gonna call my folk the Planetarium because on Ego World, you know what I'm saying? I think I'm gonna call like, then like Combat Priest, she be like cadets, you feel what I'm saying? Like, that was her tag for her supporters, her posse. Pound posse. Nigga took the shit, bro. I mean, he, and A he ran with it because they were like, well, they need it. They didn't invest all that money in it. It's a dirty game, boy. It's a dirty game, boy. That why I be exposing y'all stealing ass niggas. Stealing ass niggas, boy. So what's what's a memory? Is this for, for both of y'all? What's a memory that y'all wish y'all could forget? Mm. When I was in college, bro, and yeah, Ray, crazy. Man. What was it? I was in college, and um, basically, okay. The game before, I used to play football. Ain't nobody here, though. But the game before, you feel me, it was like 4 to 10. You know what I'm saying? And it, it lose. You know what I mean? Like a bigger than some chairs left. Like 4 to 10. Coach tell nigga not to, go get, not to go do this shit all week. And I did what I wanted to do anyway. And it worked. You feel me? So it was the next week. Oh, somebody. We going to lose. It's like two minutes left. Deep in the holy nigga, these are rivals too. We already won the ring though from the game before. You know what I'm saying? So we already tied for conference. Cause college, you know, you win by conferences and shit like that. So we was already tied for conference. So 
right after that shit. Next game come down that bit about a minute left, bro. Wide up another post route, drop that hoe. Wow, well, probably worst day of my life. I'm sick. I'm talking about wild. I was in school. I could have. Well, I could have backpedal in that bit, bro. I could have got down, roll in that bit from the foggy like nobody. <laughs> no, that's what. But see, it was nigga that. It was nigga that. You know what I'm saying? Hated me, but at the same time, like. It was more, it was, it was just like, bro, you done did a lot. Like, like, that shit was my senior year, two years, like my last school I done. Before, like, I played after football. I played after college, but, you know what I'm saying? Like, my last college game. Yeah. So, did you have on, like, the, the professional looking gloves? Man, yeah, yeah, I dropped that bit with everything I normally have on, goddamn, but I dropped that bit with the Was it the on. pressure? Yeah, shit, I just dropped that hoe. I mean, I know what it was now. Like now that I'm, it's grown. Um, I don't want to know. My hand broke. This shit still broke. It broke right here. Like a whole bunch. Of, like, I ain't know that shit. I just thought my wrist was fucked up. But, so it hurt when you ain't trying. Yeah, that shit hurt the whole game. But look at this football. Boy, you tell your coach. You know, I always have to say, oh, yeah. Nigga, nigga, look. I was, bro. Somebody hurt. I can't even take a play out. Like my senior year, I took a playoff one time, bro. Nigga missed the block. They had hurt my toe my senior year. I, I, I always hurt my senior year, but but Nick, I took a playoff one time. I came out, Nick came in, missed the whole block. Got a nigga killed. Coach put me to the side, cut me the whole out for a whole play. Like let somebody else call the play. You feel me? Then let me back in the game. He just cut me out about how I wasn't in the game. I'm like what the fuck? I can't do nothing. Like, you cut you out for real? He just said no, I'm dead ass serious. Like it's real life. Cut out like bro. What the fuck? You you, you know you was got that game. Yeah. You the one. Like I mean I he was the one. Shit. I mean I ain't missing another play. I mean I got hurt. Hell, but shit, you know we always hurt. It's football. Nigga, ban is worse. Nigga, ban. Nigga, you might have a nigga chunk. You gotta be but like if you the one. Like, it don't matter what you're doing. If you're the one, you gotta be accountable. Like, on time. You gotta be on time, on top of like, gotta be ready, gotta be ready though. Like, you the one. That's just how it go. Like, it don't matter what you're doing. If you rapping, you the one, out of your whole clip. Shit, you gotta be on time, on top of it. If you nigga doing correlating no events, you gotta, you gotta be the one. See, if you doing an interview, you gotta be the one. Like, you gotta be on time, on top of that shit. Okay, so we're gonna switch it up. Since you was on the football team, who was the baddest bitch you smashed in high school? I mean, I had a girlfriend. I was in love in high school. Ah! <laughs> you look like that type of nigga, man. I had a love in high school, man. I loved her. I had a bitch on every flow. I loved her. I had a bitch giving me more foul. I had a bitch I ate lunch with. See, I ain't savage that till I got to college. That's when I said was that. Man, my school just too big. It was in no way. Shit. See, my school big, but I just, um, Okay, so, uh, right. what's y'all worst experience getting high or getting drunk? Like, like y'all pissed on y'all self or... Bruh, like, I fell down some steps on my 20th. <laughs> on my, I wanna... Either on my 20th or on my 21st. I fell down some steps, nigga. Oh, like, you went to the hospital? No, nigga. The, luckily, okay, I fell down them bitches, but the last four, I kind of slid down. Okay. But, nigga, I, I could have died for real, bro. Like, and, and to this day, I don't go on steps when I'm drunk, bro. When I'm drunk, I don't go on steps, bro, because that shit had a real, nigga. I still feel. Like, that shit was just that bad. And I, it was all because I wanted to go get my weed. I ain't never been drunk. What, what about you? Right. You ever shit it on yourself? I ain't never do no weird shit like that. <laughs> I be fucked up though. Like I always get fucked up in college though. Easy. <laughs> so, like some funny shit happened when I was drunk. I remember that time. Hold on, it was talk funny, about but it, it, talk about it, it was funny, but it wasn't that funny though. Man, I went through some shit getting fucked up. Like I old bro, you gotta think. Like it ain't nothing to do. Like. Is it real cold out there? Yeah, it's cold as fuck. Like, like all the time? Nah, it's, bro, like right now, like right now is the best time of year because right now I feel like October, November the real. Like I be like real cool, like fallish, like that fall is the longest season. The, you know what I'm saying? So if I be like from goddamn the beginning of August, down there. So y'all always got on coats and shit. 
trying to sell the weed to somebody else in the bathroom and he told on me. That shit was the... And bro, like, my family never let me live that shit down, bro. Because they were just like, what? We ain't raised you to be no drug dealer. And that day is when I stopped selling drugs, bro. I said, I won't. Who the fuck is this nigga? There's some shit like This nigga name was Twin, bro. Hey, man... Every guy be roll nigga know who I'm talking about. The nigga name was Twin. He got a Twin D nigga from the South Side. They they not from Gabby, but they from the South Side. They not from Shady uh, Oaks or some shit like that. Not not Shady Oaks, Shady Pines. I forgot what that shit called. But um, what what Gunner from? They from where was Gunner from? But like the niggas, he had a Twin. So I sold the weed to his Twin. Cause we used to always be in ISS together. Cause I was bad at it. We used to always be in ISS together. So he was like, damn, bro, like you be having weed. Yeah, yeah, when I did at school, hustle weed was at Bountica anyway. At Washington, I hustle candy, but at Bountica, I hustle weed. But that's the worst thing. I, that's that's probably the worst thing that done ever happened to me, bro. Like, my family didn't let me live that shit down. Yeah. Then I had to go to alternative school after that. Had to do night classes to graduate, to go walk with my class. Like, that shit was horrible. That shit was horrible. All because I'm trying to be a drug dealer for real, bro. Just, worst thing happened me, though, so... Being fucked up shit. Still, I guess this is more funny than words, but I was with my partner though, right? So we was at school, so it's just me and my boy. And we was just talking shit. Talking like, man, let's get drunk. They ain't, ain't all day, you feel me? Then when Crown Alpha first came out, I'm talking about like, I hate that shit. I'm talking about like day two of Crown Alpha. Like, when you know, <laughs> niggas ain't never even seen. Too. Like, niggas ain't never even <laughs> seen me before. Like, that shit, no commercial, no nothing. Like, he just come, my homeboy Zach pull up on me and, uh, me and my boy Murph, he dropped the he dropped the crown album on the table like man, they get drunk. Me and Murph like me and Murph, that my brother. We talking shit, shot for shot, nigga. So we get fucked up, get fucked up. Nah, mind you, I'm fucked up. So oh yes to everything. Little hit me. Oh yeah, let me come over. I got my friend with me. All right, bet they come through with me and my boy. Right, so me and Murph chilling with O's. Bro really did agree though. Really think about it though, but we chilling with O's. I'm fucked up though, like. Fuck up, like, out that shit. Default, like, all right, I'm finna go to the bar. So I was like, I'm finna come back. So, bro, going to the bar, the girl that was, you know what I'm saying, with him, she left, you feel me? So, the girl I'm fucking with, she would go take her home and come back. So, I'm fucked up in the house by myself. You feel me? Went to sleep my ass, bro, I threw all over the bathroom. Oh, I'm talking, like, it's my crib, though. It's my shit, though. Like, you know what I'm saying? That shit is stained. Yeah, it's my crib, though, right? So, like, I'm not thinking, though, because I'm drunk as fuck. Like, I ain't, I'm a young nigga, too, at this time. So, anyway, I just threw up all over the bathroom, went upstairs, mm. and laid down, right? <laughs> so, look, I'm upstairs laying down. All I hear is people in the background, like, bro, Clean this shit up, right? So like that's normal as fuck. Like just being me, but I'm fucked up. I really can't even get up right now. Feel me, <laughs> bro? How about Shotty that came back, right? So Shotty at the house, she cleaned the throw up. up. Hmm. You feel me? 
So as she finishes cleaning up the throw up is when my boy walk in, he walk in with a joint he be fucking with and her friend that I be fucking with. So now I'm down there caught, but I'm drunk though. You feel me? I'm just laying in the bed. I can't move, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Like they arguing and shit. I can't move. I find out all this shit like on video in the morning. Like my boy check out on video. Like this shit just funny as fuck. These hoes arguing like I got a, bro, we had like a cat. So you were fucking with both of them. Yeah, I don't have fun having like that shit. Oh, but then I got hoes, but nigga, I was in college, man. We was having fun. Still got them, man. I don't got no hoes, not put on Jesus. And you be hitting niggas all the world. No. Every nigga. But stop. See, <laughs> don't put me in the category with the shit you be doing. Like, my PR <laughs> niggas say type nigga. Every nigga that say they all got hoes, got hoes. Boy be like, I ain't got no hoes. He got all the hoes too. No, nah, see, see. I don't fuck bitches like I used to. I fuck a bitch here and there, but your name is Bangle Bug. But I know what I'm saying. I be on like like today. I be like I was thinking today. I be like, damn, bro. I be at peace when I'm by myself instead of like. Calling the bitch and like, what's up? Because you know, I always got a bitch I can call anytime and go, hey, I but, but I just be at peace just by myself. Like, and I always be like, listen to people when they be like, oh man, I'm looking for somebody so I can have peace, but it's peaceful by yourself. You get what I'm saying? My world cast, y'all need to start hanging out with the real ones. Um, y'all need to start hanging out with Bangle Boy, No Lie, Ego World. Fuck up, Tiki. Oh, we, we, we ain't coming to KOD, my the world. But by the way, you wanna come up here and do an interview? We do an interview too, but sure, we, we, we wanna hang out with y'all. I just, ain't never did KOD. I like to perform. I ain't never. I don't I, like I, the way it sounds. I'm not gonna lie. I, when I went in that bitch, I actually thought it was kind of cool. I thought it was a, a way more chill vibe, but I, I don't think I wouldn't have liked it. Before was KOD. I don't think I would have liked it if I didn't know nobody. Like you know what I'm saying? Like I kind of knew, like I knew the niggas in that section. I knew the niggas in that section, so I kind of walked from section to section. If I ain't know nobody and I just had to sit in the middle of that motherfucker, I probably would just before and got the hell on up out of there. Like, I was in that club when it was called Club Venue, and it looked exactly the same, bro. They didn't change shit for real. Yeah. So it's like, to me, they just it's still Club Venue. They just changed the name. I don't really, then the way the stage set up is kind of weird. I like that. It's set up for a whole bunch of hoes to ambush you for real. I don't like that when I perform in the strip club. When I perform in the strip club, I'm picky and choosing about the hoe I want to throw my money on while I perform. You know what I'm saying? The way they set it up, down there, any hoe can pull up on you. And I don't like, I don't like that. Because, bitch, what if I want you in my um, recap? You know what I'm saying? Uh, okay. Um, when I went to Rumors, because I, I ain't been to a lot of strip clubs, but the strippers, like, if you say... Look, uh, you pay for a dance and they are like trying to uh, force you to buy another one. I'm like, hey, bro, like let me get another girl or something. Like, I'm just, I'm just one more. It's a trap, like, bro. I'm good. Hey, it was like, it's a trap, all right. Hey, it's a trap, all right. Give me out dance, Charlie. I had to shout out to the club. We'll go out together. You know what I mean? We'll go out in that bitch. I'm trying to remember. We'll go out in that bitch. 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 Cartel and that motherfucker, man. We was all in that bitch sitting on the front side. And, you know what I'm saying? My girl was having fun. She was lit. You know what I'm saying? So my girl was talking to another girl. You know what I mean? They doing their thing. They just talking to shit. I'm like, what shit? I told Shawty. This is exactly what I said. Oh, you I'm talking like, about that pinnacle? Yeah. I'm oh, like, okay. I'm like, I what told you Shawty. About? I'm like, look. When I get, I said, I'm about to get my song played. That's when I'm going to throw money on you. You feel me? She stayed over there. Kicking it with my girl, dancing with my girl, doing all that other extra shit, right? Song, come girl, on. fucking that girl. Yeah, they were trying to fuck. I don't know, I know what they were trying to get for. me, though. Three, two, I just know it was pussy the eye and she was doing all like that. She was. She was having fun. That was the first time I had ever seen. But after that, I seen more girls doing that with stripper. But that was the first time I ever seen a stripper, like, kind of like gyrate on the bitch. Like, they fuck it. I was like, damn, why the stripper don't do that to niggas? That was what I was just trying to. All they do to niggas is that fake ass buying on niggas shit like that. Bitch, why you don't do that shit you was just doing with Charlotte? God <laughs> But I guess it's only comfortable doing with girls. But she definitely was doing fucking motion over there. But yeah, Charlotte had a trip. They were dancing and shit, playing the song, I tip her. Bro, we finna leave, bro. She talking about, oh, you gotta give me. I forgot the number, but I was like, 
I ain't just tricked me like I look at the ground. I don't want them niggas. Oh, I ain't going for that pussy. I'm like, bro, I ain't just tipped you like you tripping out. I'm like, no. And my brother, and my brother, like this shit. No. It was funny though, cause when she went to <laughs> like, the cartel on that nigga, it was like she didn't know that we was there, cause we know cartel. So she cartel the head at pinup, and when she went and told goddamn cartel, it was like, huh? Then cartel got into it with her, and then. In my head, I'm mad at Shawty because I'm just like, come on, man. It's $5 dancing. They going to play that one. That's what they going to do. But I didn't know that you had told her that you was going to wait till this. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, when we were leaving, I got down. I was rocking out. She was talking. You know, the strip down. Never shut up. I ain't never going to stop talking about this shit. They going to keep talking about this shit until they don't see you no more. You know what I'm saying? So she I'm walking out. She's still talking about this shit. I put like something I was on my bike. I just threw it at the house. No, oh, what's your money? Hey, you bitch. Shut up. <laughs> that was on your ass. That bitch was drunk though. Oh, and then we had Zay ass with us that night, bro. Oh, oh God, that was Zay first night ever in the strip club. It was. It was, bro. Remember he told us that was his first night ever in the strip club. Like, oh God. It's alright, but I mean, if he ain't really got no money, I don't. And he ain't hold on to no rack to throw in that motherfucker. Yeah. I don't want to go. <laughs> I gave Zay that ten. We were really Somebody straight. <laughs> we were straight. But what <laughs> fucked it up is when Lee was just killing. Oh shit! <laughs> but it what fucked it up is when she yeah. got down dancing with uh yeah, <laughs> with yeah. Charlotte. Like that would fucked it up, cause yeah, it just was bad. But we was probably about to get up out of there. We was, but that was it. Was like how Charlotte kicked it, but I could see her her argument, cause she did dance with Charlotte for a while. She danced with Charlotte for a while, and it took a minute for your song to get played. I probably would have gave it a $20. Why did it take so long for your song to get played? I don't know. I thought we had been walked over there to, oh, no, we wait on Cartel again. We wait on him to go talk to Dirty Work. Yeah. 